Hey everybody, it's Kevin Deskins here with Midwest Photo. Uh, this week we are doing the virtually cool Midwest Photo Feature Fair, and we're going to be featuring local photographers and friends of ours who shoot and talking to them about how they do it, um, their techniques, maybe what's on a little bit of their wish list, or maybe what they're getting somebody else. Today we have my friend, my coworker, and very talented photographer, Katie Walter. Hey, Katie. Hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Um, so today we want to talk to you about documenting family memories, which I know you do, um, with your husband, Jared and your daughter, Elowen, uh, amazing portraits, by the way. Um, if you have any opportunity to go check Katie out, make sure you do that on Instagram. Katie, do you have a website you can direct people towards as well? Um, I have a blog, which is like linked through my, my Instagram. Um, it's really just for, for me to post on there, but not really anything like a, a huge website, just, just a, another platform to share. Um, cool. Yeah. Nice. Well, we'll hope to uh, put some of your photography within uh, the email blast about this video and on our Instagram as well. So people can uh, check out your work. Um, now you've been capturing um, others memory as a professional photographer for some time. What made you turn your camera towards your own family? Um, I mean, I've always you know, being a mom has been one of the best life-changing experiences ever. And I've always been taking pictures of us, um, of our, our family as it grows, but, um, you know, the, probably one of the very few positives of, uh, COVID and quarantine is, um, I really had the time now to really spend with her and go on our walks and take out the camera and, um, and really see how she's like observing the world and, and how, um, you know, through my eyes, all the little things that she does and, um, how she interacts with my husband. And, you know, as she gets older, she's two now, you know, uh, she's in that phase where, you know, everything's new and she's starting to understand things. And it's, it's every day, I swear, she's like a little different person. And it's so cool <laughs> to watch and, you know, having these pictures to kind of go back and, and see and um, yeah, it, it brings it all back for me too. And and that's what I've probably enjoyed the most about it. Yeah. Now Elle's two now and you've been documenting her pretty much her entire life at this point. <laughs> yeah. So she she grew up with a camera kind of um, in front of her. And is there anything to, like, does she find it foreign at all? Or does she, um, what do you do to like make her relax and just act natural? Or is she just, she's just a kid. She's acting that way. Um, I mean, in the, I always wanted to get those like really nice, like editorial photos of us, you know, you know, perfect little family, but <laughs> really it's, uh, you know, seeing those pictures, they're nice and everything, but it wasn't, you know, the pictures that mean the most to me are the ones that she, you know, she has no idea she's being photographed. She's discovering things and doing her own thing. And uh, um, so I always have a camera nearby, um, usually a smaller camera. So it's not like, you know, as intimidating. Um, but yeah, I think that was a trick is just to always have it, you know, have a camera in the room, have a camera in my bag. Um, <laughs> so anytime, you know, I saw something was, you know, about to happen or she was doing something, um, new or acting crazy, you know, I always had it there, um, to, yeah. And I think, I think by now she was probably, she probably sees it and knows exactly what it is. And she just keeps going about her day. Like, oh, mom's doing what what she what, always does. Now you said you, you use a smaller, what smaller camera do you have that you use with her? I use the, uh, the, <laughs> I had it ready. Um, nice. uh, the Fuji X100S. It's a little bit of the older model, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a range finder. It's got a 23 millimeter lens, which I really have a, a I really like that aesthetic of like a 35 millimeter kind of perspective. Yeah. It's, it's very, I don't know. It has that documentary kind of uh, ratio to it. And I've, I've always really liked that. So. Yeah. I had, I too had the X100S and absolutely loved it. Uh, you get those film looks. Um, it, you're right. That 23 millimeter perspective is just, is amazing when it comes to, to documenting things. Um, so kind of on that same subject. So that's like your go-to small camera, but if you're, you know, Halloween's coming up, I'm not sure if you guys got, have gone to a pumpkin patch yet, which is a pretty safe, you know, 
uh, right. non COVID friendly, uh, uh, event that, that families can do and go out and kind of have some normalcy to their lives at this moment. What would be like your go-to, um, obviously a go-to for you with that would be the X 100. Uh, right now they're on the V you've got the S, mm-hmm. um, which is the same 23 millimeter perspective. But, um, let's say you're carrying a, a DSLR or another mirrorless camera. What would you would you grab when going out to something like a pumpkin patch, or maybe you're going to cut down a Christmas tree this year or pick one out at a a tree farm or what would you pick? Sure. Uh, I mean, me and my husband are by no means, you know, brand loyal. We like them all. So, (laughs) um, so we have the Fuji, but, um, my husband also has a Sony a seven, um, a seven R two. So we take that out. Uh, we've got a 35, two, eight Zeiss lens, um, and an 85, one, eight, which is, um, probably one of my favorite lenses. It's just so sharp and it's, you know, it's light enough where it's not going to bother me too much. And, uh, the resolution on it, I can make huge prints. Um, and just, yeah, the autofocus on it is, is impeccable. I love, you know, you seeing those little squares that show up with her face, you know, she's running mm-hmm. towards me or away from me. Um, yeah. Yeah. I really like that guy. Cool. And you said the A7R2 is, is Jared's? Yeah. Um, I will <laughs> have to say, I, I'll admit it. Um, most of the cameras that we have, so we have, you know, the Fujis, um, we have a couple film cameras, uh, uh, Panasonic G9 that we use for little home videos and things. Um, I probably only bought the G9. <laughs> it's mostly all my <laughs> husband's gear um, that, you know, hey, you know, we're married now. What's what's his is mine. So yeah. I'll go with that. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so he shoots as well. Um, mm-hmm. And does he shoot more photo or video? Uh, he does. He does more photo. Yeah. Or he does, okay. you know, just as much photo. He is I'll say though, his, his technique is, a we're definitely too different. He's very technical and, um, he loves to have that kind of detail and perfect lighting and, and I'll take a blurry image any day, as long as it like <laughs> captures a moment, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're very different, but, but yeah, we still, we still love, you know, photography and all the different things we, we like to debate over it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, I know that, uh, I'm in the same shoes. So I'm like Jared, I'm a very technically oriented person and you know, Ashley, and she's a very creative person, my wife, Ashley. And she, um, we trade off the camera. We, we, when we're at a shoot, uh, sometimes we'll each have a camera or sometimes we'll just hand it off to each other. Um, do, does he, uh, does he ever take the camera when you guys are out and about and, and capture some of his own, or is it all you documenting? Oh no. Yeah. A lot of the times when we take the camera, um, you know, that was, that was kind of my thing, you know, um, in the beginning was I don't want to always be behind the camera. I always, you know, I want to be in the moment too with Mm her. Um, so yeah, a lot of the times I'll just like set it on the stroller or, you know, uh, hand it over to him and, you know, he kind of takes the initiative to, you know, sees that, you know, we're doing something or he wants to capture something and he just, he'll just go ahead and do it too. So yeah. That's a, I mean, that's a really uh, smart move to, you know, you got to be a parent and you don't always want to be behind the camera and you want to be present for your child as well. So that's, mm-hmm. you know, I really appreciate you bringing that up because I think that's just as important as documenting the memories. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to circle back to something we talked about before um, with kids being intimidated. Now, Elle has been, uh, growing up with a camera kind of with her, but let's say you are on a shoot uh, with a family. How do you get kids to be not so intimidated? Um, even if it's something like a Fuji X 100 series camera, um, you know, having somebody put something up to their face and then, you know, not being able to see them as they talk, what do you do as a photographer to maybe relax uh, a family or kids within that family to, to, get them to give you a genuine smile, not something cheesy, but something, you know, fun and, and relaxed. Oh, sure. I think, I think any kid, you know, regardless of the age, if they're, you know, if you're just meeting them for the first time, they're, you know, generally going to be shy anyway. So, um, I've always found that, you know, getting down on their level saying, you know, hi, I'm Katie, you know, how do you like school? What's your favorite subject? Kind of like to get them get to know them a little bit. Um, 
you know, what's your favorite part about being a big brother, you know, <laughs> kind of things like that. Um, I think really kind of ease it. And I think, uh, you know, with, with Jared's camera and even the Fuji, I can, I can, uh, you know, have live view going on my screen. So really I can see what the camera is shooting without actually like getting behind it, which I think is great. And you get those genuine reactions because they, you know, and you can turn it completely silent and, and really just kind of fire it off and they have no idea you really took their picture. So, um, yeah, I find those, those to be the most helpful things to do. So cool. Nice. That's, that's really good advice. I've, I've found the kind of relating, relating with the the kids a little bit and, and getting them to relax rather than being like, I'm here and I'm your photographer. <laughs> like that's never going to help. They're going to be like, Oh, it's this, it's this person's trying to do their job. So yeah, if you, if you try to be friendly with them and you, you know, ask them a few questions and get them relaxed and everything and let them have fun too. You know, I was at a shoot this weekend and I saw you know, the photographer was encouraging the kids to run around to get some of those candid shots, something that I could mm-hmm. definitely see you doing, asking kids. Oh yeah. <laughs> to... It's always a uh, built in, like, all right, we're going to jump on three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get that like mid air shot and they just like crack up laughing. It's great. <laughs> um, so kind of going back to, to Jared now he's, he's out of the room. He's taking care of L right now. So <laughs> be honest with me. He's got a really nice rig. So a Sony A7R2, uh, which is a Sony full frame mirrorless image stabilized, in body image stabilization. He's got an 85 and a 35. Wow. Okay. So let's say you wanted to get him something really cool this Christmas. Um, whether that's, let's pick out like one stocking stuffer for him that's photo oriented. And then maybe like one photo gift, like one, one, like, good gift that's not going to break the bank but would be cool (laughs) um well um gosh we eat through memory cards like it's you know so a a practical (laughs) thing is to get him that and also organization wise I mean just looking right here we have just an entire bag of memory cards so (laughs) um getting him little cases to to hold those um and you know, another thing that he's, you know, kind of getting away from photography and more kind of into video, he's actually, uh, he's super into video games and started a Twitch channel. So um, we we just started carrying the I can capture cards. So mm. that is definitely something that um, um, I think he would really like, especially because the one that he got was like a really cheap Amazon one that he's not digging so well. So uh, <laughs> yes, I definitely think, uh, yeah. Um, things like that. But yeah, memory cards, cases, um, uh, definitely cleaning supplies. We can, oh my gosh, the greasy fingerprints are never ending ever. So, (laughs) yep. So yeah, absolutely. And I mean, memory cards as from, from a a perspective of a photographer myself, I can attest that if there's a memory card in my stocking, I am stoked because (laughs) you can never have enough memory cards and you can never, I mean, there's all kinds of different wallets, whether, you know, we've got the ProMaster rugged uh, cases for memory cards. We've got the, you know, think tank pixel pocket rockets that hold that are like more of a soft case. Um, So all kinds of awesome you know, stocking stuffers would be great there. And then the capture cards. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you mentioned that because we have three different types now here at the store. We've got the, um, the ICANN that you just mentioned. Um, we have the Atomos and the new black magic. Is it a black magic one? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> In any case, we've got three different capture cards here. All three do 4k. And um, whether you're doing like something like this, like a zoom, a call or if you're doing a Twitch stream like Jared's doing um, or even if you want to like start up your uh, YouTube channel and and talk about documenting your family that is awesome as well so um, great options there for him and I, I hope he gets those <laughs> <laughs> <I'll help anything. laughs> so uh, kind of switching gears we offer all kinds of photo gifts here at Midwest Photo at MidwestPhotoPix.com. We just started carrying a bunch of different stuff, tumblers, mugs, face masks, mouse pads. Um, and I know at least when Elle comes into the store, she is like all eyes are on her. Everybody wants to hang out with her because she's so cool. Um, and I'm sure she's like that at family gatherings as well. She gathers a lot of attention um, being the icon she is. Uh, 
(laughs) (laughs) What uh, would you consider buying your family this year in regards to like photo gifts uh, with, with Elle on it, or maybe just your family on it, or maybe one of their favorite photographs? Um, Everyone in my family uh, is addicted to caffeine. So having, (laughs) so having a mug, definitely, you can't ever have enough mugs. Um, (laughs) And I think, you know, even going back into my own cupboard, uh, I think some of my favorite ones are when Jared was a little kid and (laughs) his face on it. Um, I'll have to bring that in and show you. It's fantastic. That's awesome. Um, But yeah, definitely the mugs. I I think those are really cool. (laughs) (laughs) That's really cool. Um, do you, do you ever gift them prints at all? Oh yeah, absolutely. My, um, my mom, she, she loves getting like the canvas prints and, um, and just like I go over to her house and, you know, she has her different arrangement of frames. It's different every time she loves doing that kind of stuff. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you brought up canvas because we offer canvas as well. So (laughs) and I I was just gonna, I was going to ask, that was kind of my next question is, do you, do you have a preferred way that you print? Um, Is that canvas? Is it a certain finish on paper? Um, I don't, I really like black and white prints with like that matte finish. Mm. I don't know. It's just something about it that has that like rich blacks and I don't know. It's just very, I think it just looks kind of moody. That might just be me, but I I don't know. I just really (laughs) like it with like a wood frame or something. I don't know. Yep. Um, I I go to Target a lot and (laughs) like the hearth and home kind of look. It's just, Mm. Um, just very reminiscent of that. I think so. I've got a lot of that collection in my house. Admittedly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have any, uh, so for, for maybe moms or dads, um, any family member really wanting to document memories, do you have any final words of advice for them in terms of gear technique, anything that you would want to pass on to them that's helped you as a photographer? Um, yeah, there's, uh, so, one, one other product I kind of wanted to like drop because I, I, I got it as kind of just like, oh, it'll be fun, you know, but I actually use it on a regular basis is this little uh, Instax mini link. And <laughs> Love those things. I've got the, I've got a, a, the square, the SQ3. Oh yeah. man. I have that too. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, for, for wedding shooting, um, I'm able to, you know, if I'm shooting with the Sony, I can download the pictures to my phone or a tablet and print it right off here and hand it to clients the day of their wedding, which is really cool. They've really, really liked that. It's just like that extra touch. Um, and then like family events and things like that. I can take any pictures off my phone and print it on here. Um, all my little cousins love having those little pictures. They ask me about it literally every single time I go over and see them is these little, uh, little Polaroid pictures and they like sit there and watch it. It's, yep. it's really cool. I think, uh, I think the whole experience of it too, is they just, yeah, they love yeah. it. Um, it is uh, having used those products. I kid, they're awesome. Whether you're, you're wowing family or you're wowing clients. I, I absolutely love them. And I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. It's even a feature I, I learned on the link um, where you, if you set it down, you can have like four people connect mm-hmm. to it and then each person submits a photo and it prints out as a, a, like a quad photo, which is really fun because then everybody can take one with them and everybody has everybody else's photo. Mm-hmm. So amazing. Uh, I'm really glad you brought that up. Cause that's yeah. such a, that's such a cool little gift too. Um, yeah. and, and it's, it, it's so affordable and, and the film's so affordable for it as well. So, um, yeah, any- my, uh, my husband got me a journal too. Cause I, I journal with, you know, writing letters to her. So when she's older, I can hand them over. And so I know it's cheesy, but (laughs) no, that's really clever. (laughs) I do print off like these little pictures and just like stick it in there. Yeah. So it's just like another part to it. So um, that's really cool. That's a really cool idea. Yeah. You have like a name for that or is that an idea? Where did you get that idea? Um, well, I started to write letters to her, you know, in, uh, today's your first birthday, you know, and, yeah. and I put it in an envelope and I put it in a shoe box. And, uh, for Christmas one year, my husband got me like a leather bound book and it has like imprinted on the front, the chronicles of your life, dear Eloin. And, um, like super sweet. I didn't cry at all. Um, 
<laughs> so yeah, it's been kind of like a grow, uh, a going thing now for, for the past year, I've been, you know, journaling in it, uh, for her to read when she's, you know, and I think seeing those pictures, um, I, I can't wait for the day that she gets to see it and see all the pictures and see her face get red for all the like little cheesy moments that we had oh, yeah. in there. It's just, it's just going to be so much more special because I can put pictures in it. <laughs> what a cool keepsake. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, well, Katie, I want to thank you so much for, for sitting down and talking to me today. Um, I'm sure I will see you later today at work, but, um, <laughs> I, I appreciate you, uh, taking the time to get this set up and, and, uh, talk with me about this. And hopefully some folks have taken away uh, some really cool technique, um, tips, uh, some products they could get as well when it comes to documenting family or somebody else's family. Um, you're an awesome photographer. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so. Uh, we'll have more videos up this week. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to visit mpex.com and visit our contact us page, or you can always visit us, visit us online on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. We'll see you guys later.